Weekend number three coming up for Jacksonville State Soccer. They hit the road and I'm going to be going for five straight here away from the Jacksonville State Soccer field. Neil McDonald, Gamecocks coach, visits with us here. Good weekend. You got a, a win over Middle Tennessee State. First time since, what, 08 or 09 a Jacksonville State Soccer team has beaten the Blue Raiders. And then a tough one on Sunday with Georgia State ended up uh, double overtime, nothing, nothing draw. But you get a win and a tie. So I guess overall a good weekend, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, I was very, very pleased with the performance on Friday. Um best I've seen us play in a long time um, and, and we, we also played very well on Sunday um, created a lot of good chances I felt like over the piece probably could have won the game and so um, again two good performances under our belt um, young team improving so hopefully starting to get a little bit of momentum Offensively, a terrific night in the 4 1 win over fr- on Friday night. Uh, and El Monroe, a couple of goals. Kelly Thompson found the net and Emma Meadows as well. But offensively, it was nice to have that explosion, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It gives, you know, it gives all those players a little bit of confidence. Um, I, th- I thought Donny had a great game. Um, she was a threat all the time and behind. Uh, Kayla. I think probably played one of the best games that she's played for us. She, she was constantly getting in behind her fullback. Uh, running at players, taking players on. Her service into the box was excellent. Um, and so, yeah, the two of them really combined well on the on the uh, opening couple of goals. Um, and, um, and then Kayla grabbed one herself yeah. um, in, in the second half uh, off, of, off of our press, and, and she nipped in and, and kind of, she had a 1v1 with the keeper and, and, and slotted it away nicely. If I remember correctly, Danny was injured last year a little bit too at times, wasn't she? Yeah, we've had you know we've had we've had a fair spate of them and, and players in and out, but um, you know hopefully we can stay healthy now and and um, you know we certainly although we're young again I keep going back to what we do in practice every day and the training has been excellent so we, if we can keep building on that we'll be fine. Well, you've mentioned youth. Now you go on the road for five straight, and that's that's not easy for a young team, is it? No, it's not. Um, you know, obviously a different set of challenges for us, but. Um, you know, I think it's important to do that. It's important to put them under a little bit of pressure and play against some quality opposition. And, and so hopefully we're, we're ready when OVC rolls around. And you'll see quality opponents this weekend, Friday. Uh, you're, you're headed to Mobile to South Alabama for an event. you got Troy Friday and then uh, the host team, South Alabama Sunday. And that'll be two very good tests for you. Yeah, very tough t- uh, games. Um, you know, both Troy and, and South Al have been very, very good these last kind of three, four years. Um, they have had some coaching changes. There has been some some uh, some uh, changes there in both those programs. So, um, you know, we'll, again, look to go down and play our game and, and, and stick to what our, our game plan has been thus far and, um, you know, kind of see where that takes us. Through your preseason schedule and now uh, the first two weekends, are you is this team where you would want it to be at this point in time? Yes, I think so. I, I think that, um, you know, we talked yesterday a lot about um, not becoming complacent and, and that uh, it's, it's really important that we, we keep coming to training every day with a, a great attitude and, and, and pushing ourselves to get better. Um, so, yeah, if we can build on what we've done so far, I think that, you know, I'm happy today with where we are. Um, but, um, you know, it's, 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 it's got to keep getting better rain in the forecast and raining outside as we tape this indoors here does that affect your preparation any um not not too much um you know I, hopefully there won't be storms and um you know again for me if, if we're playing if we're not playing in the evening a little bit of rain won't do us any harm I, I think that um hopefully it'll cool it down a little bit and we won't have to, i would rather play in those conditions than the the 100 degree heat thank you sir appreciate your time good luck this weekend thank you Neil McDonald and the ladies headed to South Alabama down to Mobile. They'll play Troy on Friday afternoon and then South Alabama Sunday afternoon. Follow it closely online at jsugamecocksports.com.